Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1145. Yes, a special dedication to Leo has let me know that they have reduced the number of moves significantly here and created a problem. So we have 35 moves to clear out 42 jelly. Let's take a look at this board, because whatever we did before, we're just going to have to do more efficiently than when we had 50 moves to complete this. So first I want to look at the problems on the board. I've got a ticking time bomb dispenser. Don't know what those are set at yet, but soon I'll find out. If if it's pretty high, like over 10, I won't worry because it's out in the open. If it's low in numbers, then I might have to battle that and not worry about the blockers. And I really want to get to these blockers because we have thick frosting. We have marmalade. That's not so bad. We have chocolate. We have licorice locked chocolate. That can be a problem. And we've got licorice twirls. Plus, we've got the swirls set to come down from here. If I take out a swirl on a turn, no new stuff forms, and if I don't take one out, that's when new stuff can drop down. Now this chocolate might collect this key for me. I don't mind if it gets trampled over because it will start to open things up, and when I open these up, then I can drop things, these keys down. And I don't have to open these because I don't have any jelly under them. It's just that the more open the board is, the better off I'll be. Which means I probably do want to try to take out as much chocolate as I possibly can as quickly as possible so I don't have to deal with it over and over. I am thinking about, hmm, I'm going to do this and allow cascading to help. Now, this is the only chocolate that can grow right now and I can't take it out. But that's okay. I don't mind if it grows a little bit. We'll play a little bit of tug of war with it. I do need to take out some of these other things. And I need to remind myself that this is the kind of board where it's easy to make a move. So I don't want to just make a move. I want to try to make the very best moves possible. So make specials when I can, especially these wrapped candies. I'm opening up these licorice locks. Now the chocolate can still grow this way. These can't grow. This is pretty good, but I don't have a lot of red on the board. If I take this now, I still get a bit of a bounce, which is good, especially along the bottom here, which I think is going to be the most difficult area to reach. If I wait, I might be able to get more red on the board, or I might end up blowing this up. I think I'm going to wait just a bit, try to get a little bit more red. Oh, well, that's interesting. I think I have less red, but more opportunity. Should I take this? This is more powerful because it has a double hit, but there are more green on the board. I think I'd rather just take out all green. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all blue. It's going to drop this down and blow things up. That's going to form a stripe. That's not the best move because I will likely lose this opportunity. So I don't like taking out blue. What about taking out orange? There's a lot of orange on the board. It doesn't look like it's going to make that fall into place. It might bring down more red. Let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red right now. Now, I realize I'm risking this, but I'm going to take this out and see what happens. Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine red. And a lot of it's down lower. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like that was okay. I'm going to risk it a bit more. Still no more red coming down here. That's so frustrating. Oh, Be careful. You only should do this if you're willing to risk this stuff. If you're not willing to risk it, because this could go at any moment and take this out. If you're not willing to risk it, don't, don't pull the trigger on that. Don't make that move that's going to create chaos. But I'm going to go ahead and do this now. I think this is the very best move possible on this board. Look at how much we cleared out. All of the chocolate is now gone. I've got an opportunity to make a color bomb because I've got more space. Uh, the licorice swirls are gone, but they're going to come back. So they're not gone permanently from this board. So should I just go ahead and take out a color, which can be valuable, or should I hold off and see if I can put this together with another special? Here's my plan. First, I'm going to look to see is there anything else cool I can do. I can almost make a color bomb here, but not quite with that blue. So I'm not going to worry about that. But what I can do is take out a few things here. I'm going to do this, which is going to make some cascading. 
Now I've got this growing at me. I'm not a fan. But I can do this and take more stuff out. While I can take stuff out, I think I should. And then I'm hoping to get some specials in here. That's not working out. The ticking time bombs, some of them are still a bit of a problem, but not a huge problem. Let's bring that wrapped candy down there. Take this out. Still not getting this set up with anything. I could do this. I think now what I'm going to do is take out some of these licorice so they don't become a problem. Ooh, I like that. Blowing things up. And if this gets struck, I'm not setting it up with anything right now. So if it gets struck, that's just an efficiency of moves. That just means that it takes out the most prevalent color and I didn't have to hit it. So I'm okay with that. What if I what if I plan it? What if I do this, blow this up, make a stripe, blow this up? I don't know. I think this is a better move because it's also taking out some of that jelly there. All right, now let's do it. Now let's blow this up. We're removing layers of stuff. Now I've got to do another kind of reevaluation. 11 moves, 8 jelly. That looks pretty good. I do have some of this licorice in the way, but I've got some firepower here. I think I like making this stripe down here, trying to get down to the base here more. I can make this wrapped, which takes this out, or this wrapped, which doesn't take anything out automatically, but sets me up down here. But I'm going to do this, because then I can bring things down here and just blow things up, right? And now I can focus over on this side of the board. I've got this beautiful thing right here, which I like. That's a double thick, and there's something here, but I've got beautiful things aimed there. So I'm not going to worry. Look at all of the stuff I have. Well, that just does it for me there. There we go. That's it. So it can be done with 35 moves, in, moves instead of 50. But I'm going to remind you to not only look for good moves, but look for great moves. When you see a good move, pause and see if there's anything better you can take on the board. I'm sure I missed things. We always miss things when we go through these. But the more your eye catches, the more likely you'll be able to come with a successful conclusion. I hope this was helpful, Leo. If you guys have any questions or comments, please put those below, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.